What is good, YT? It's your boy, BK Vendo. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of timing we on. First of all, first things first, before I even start this, before I even say anything else, y'all got y'all boy to 200 subscribers, man. And give me a... Give me a round of applause, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say thank you to everybody that's sitting here, you know, supporting me, showing love. I appreciate y'all because y'all the reason that really got me like pushing forward to keep wanting to make content, keep wanting to do videos, and just keep moving forward with this. Like, it's already a dream for me to be able to do YouTube, um, and y'all just making it come true, you know what I'm saying? But that's first things first. So, the reason you're here today, all right? You see the, you see the, you see the title, you see the title, right? You want to know some things about basic combat training. If you, you know, thinking about joining or if you just interested, whatever the case may be, you want to know what things consist of when you get to basic combat training and what type of things you might encounter, what to expect. Well, here's the video. Like, look no further. I'm here for you. I got you. Like, just, just stick around. But you already know I got to say it. Hit that like button. Go ahead and comment. If you want to see different types of com uh, content, let me know what you want to see. And the biggest thing, like I said, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, hit that subscribe button, man. If you don't like the content, just unsubscribe at the end. It's that simple, but keep hitting that subscribe button. Let's keep running up these views. Keep hitting that like button, cause it's definitely helping me out and let me know what videos y'all like, whatever you might not like. And that way I can gauge the content that I'm gonna continue to put out. And then we just go from there. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, I got my notes to keep me on track. But, um, excuse me, whoops, <clears throat> that was you, not me. Anyways, the first thing that you should expect, right? First thing you should expect when you get to basic combat training is you have to understand that you're gonna be in a different environment. So that is already gonna have you uneasy, uncomfortable. You're not gonna really know what's what. You're not gonna know what's going on. You're just gonna be told everything to do. You've given up your rights to eat when you're, you know, to eat on your own. You've given up your rights to walk when you want to walk. And it sounds crazy, right? Like what? Look, nah. So basically at that point in time, while you're there, you are a trainee. You see what I'm saying? So like you do what they say, when they say, how they say it. And that's basically it. You will not eat, sleep, drink, blow your nose, or even dig in your butt without my say so. Know this. Um, you will be pushed to your limits. So like, you gotta understand that you're gonna be in a lot of stressful environments. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of tasks that's very stressful, different things that's gonna have a lot of stress just weighing down on your mind. But you have to remain just calm about everything and just do what you're told and you'll get through it. Um, one thing about uh, BCT is always expect the unexpected during your time there because you never know what can happen. Understand that, you know, the drill sergeants, your command team, everyone's going to have everything planned out, but that doesn't mean that things always fall into plan. Things are going to be put into place and then you basically just have to adapt. That's the whole thing. You got to be able to adapt to any and every situation that you're, you encounter. Um, so that's why the biggest thing and the first thing is just expecting the fact that you're gonna be in an uncomfortable environment and you're gonna be under a lot of stress, right? I've said it multiple times, right? You nasty little worm. Go change your huggies, boy, <laughs> and be back here pronto. Stop that crying. You'll get no pity from me. You think your tears will stop Charlie from taking his bandaid and sticking in your little tiny heart? <laughs> no matter what, like I don't care what goes down, I don't care what happens, you have to give it your all, like, Put your best foot forward, you know, just do your best. Like regardless of what the situation is, put your best foot forward and take that leap. Like no matter what you're scared of, just do it. You know, um, during that time, you're gonna fail, you're gonna succeed, 
But when you fail, you got to understand that you can't beat yourself up about it because it's something that should be expected. I'm waking my laptop up, but it's something that should be expected. Um, you might fail when you're trying to pass your physical fitness test. Um, you might fail when you're on the range trying to qualify. Uh, just don't get discouraged to the point where you don't want to move on. Just keep picking yourself up. Um, basic training is basically it's designed for you to know what failing feels like so that you basically will be able to like pick yourself up and you can pick your fellow battle buddies to your left and your right you can help pick them up as well and you guys got to learn how to pick each other up and work as a team okay um, believe it or not basic training is a team effort it's not just for yourself um, you're building up yourself and the, the people that's around you so keep that in mind that's the first thing but uh let's move on to number two i still got your attention okay i was just making sure but uh it's number two you heard me number two number two but look check it out so secondly i can't express this enough i can't go through it enough listen expect long days and i mean long days you're gonna have long days and expect short nights you feel me um some nights it's gonna feel like you might only got two hours of sleep some nights it's gonna feel like you might have got one hour of sleep but understand something, that's just a part of the process. That's a part of the process of becoming a soldier. You heard me. You said you wanted to do it. You signed the paper. You said, I'm a big boy and I got this. Oh, so do it. You heard me. But um, now on the real, definitely expect long days. Um, you're going to be sleep deprived at times. There's going to be days where you be like, dang, I really did not get no sleep. You're going to be trying to fall asleep at times. And then the drill sergeant going to be right there. Stay up right and you better get up too. Don't don't make a problem about it. Just get up and you know what I'm saying. Do some push-ups and you go from there. You feel me? Pay attention, man. Pay attention. So look, um, a lot of the events that you're gonna be taking place in throughout the day is going to physically drain your mental and your stamina both. Um, basically, your day will probably start from about 04:45, and you probably won't bed down to like 2100. Starting in the beginning of the day. You'll be doing PT, which is physical training. Um, some days it's gonna be cold, some days it's gonna be hot, whatever the case may be. It all depends when you join and when you go off to basic combat training. But regardless of it, like they say in the army, embrace the suck. Um, the people around you are also gonna help build the atmosphere of how your days go. And you gotta understand that uh, basically the events that you're gonna be doing are things like the gas chamber. Um, I got something. I got something to show y'all real quick. The gas chamber. That's everybody's favorite, right? You're gonna be putting this, you're gonna be putting this thing on, right? And you're gonna go inside that chamber, right? And you're gonna go breathe in that gas. And you're gonna do what you gotta do with it, you feel me? Other thing is, you know, shooting at the range. No, nah, I'm just playing. I ain't pulling out no gun. I ain't got no gun in here, man. Y'all funny. You thought I was, I'll see what you was doing. Uh, but look, man, you're going to have some events that's, uh, they call it, it's three events that you go through. They call it the, uh, the hammer, the anvil, and the forge. Those are field events. Um, each one, I think it's like you spend one day in the field, then you spend three days in the field, then you spend like four days or five days, one of those. And it's, it's a lot of things consistent of those. I can go deep, deeper into detail. If y'all want, let me know down in the comments. I can get, do, make another video and go deeper into detail. Um, another big thing that will affect you is what's called rucking. If you don't know what that is, you basically get a big ass bag, right? <laughs> the bag is this, right? It's a bag. You put it on your back. That bag is filled up with a bunch of items. Um, they'll tell you what to have, like what to put in that bag to create a certain amount of weight. And you're gonna carry that bag and you're gonna ruck. Like you're gonna walk, you know, X amount of miles. I just know the army love rucking, all right? I ain't never seen nothing positive come out of it. I've always been able to walk. I'm from New York, so we walked a lot anyways, but walking with that weight on your back, it's gonna hit different. Um, rucking affects people differently. Um, it's not really good for your back, but it's the army. You see what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do. But um, that's the end of number two. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. Let's move on to number three. You heard me. You still with me? Are you still paying attention? Huh? You still paying attention? Third thing. The third thing, right? The third thing is real big within the uh, the military as a whole is camaraderie, okay? Understand, you will be going to BCT alone, basic combat training by yourself, 
but you gotta understand that when you get there, it's not just you anymore, okay? It's you and the people around you that's going through the same exact thing. So, you know, understand each other's struggles, understand that some people stress differently or they handle stress differently. So don't down someone for how they handle their stress. Instead, build them up and help them get through it and expect, you know, the same thing. What you do will affect everyone within your platoon and sometimes everyone within your company. So make sure. What the hell was that, you little freckle face cartoon? <laughs> Did I give you permission to sneeze, Opie? No, sir. Then you hold it in, you big ear turd. Drop down, give me one to five. Push up now, gentlemen. One, sir. <laughs> 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 So make sure that you act accordingly and don't just go there showing out. Don't you have no point to prove, okay? Like you didn't join, you know, basic combat training, you didn't join the army to try to be the big bad wolf to try to impress nobody or anything like that. So don't get caught up in that stuff, okay? No, nobody's there caring about, oh, I used to do this, that, and no one cares. It's just simple as that. No one cares. You here now, this is what you're here for. Um Understand that the people that's going to be to your left and right are going to be the closest thing to family because you're going to be away from your family with no contact. You will have times that you can, you know, call your family, you know, but it's very short amount of times, like maybe two minutes, five minutes or, you know, writing letters is probably the best thing that you can do while you're there. Like that's probably the most rewarding feeling is getting a letter or writing a letter, sending it out. That's the best feeling. Um, but the people next to you are going to make that experience. They're going to make or break that experience, honestly. So make sure, you know, you understand that you're going to have enemies and you're going to have friends that you make that's going to be a lifetime or it might just stay at basic combat training, whatever it is. Understand that the army isn't that big. So at the end of the day, you might see that person again down later on down the road. If you plan to do X amount of years, you know, they might outrank you. You might outrank them. You don't know. So don't burn bridges. You know what I mean? Just try to try to cope with everyone and be the best person that you can be. Be yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. Um, you know, find things that you guys share in common. You know, during those times that you don't have your phone, you know, talk about things, ask each other things like make sure everyone is OK. And it sounds cheesy, whatever the case may be. But I promise you, when you get there and you see, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But that's it for number three. That one's pretty short. Let's move on to number four. You ready? <laughs> number four. <laughs> Listen, man. Expect to get sick. Both sick and homesick. You feel me? The reason I say that is because of the simple fact of why you're there and you sleep deprived and these things, your body is not going to get enough time to, to function, enough time to rest, enough time to heal. And what that does is that breaks down your immune system and makes you obviously vulnerable to a lot more things like, you know, simple things like a head cold, you know, um, I suffer like migraines, things like that, just small things. So expect those things. Um, as weird as it might sound, the biggest thing that's like, like, it's like, it's like money in there is cough drops. Like everybody loves cough drops at basic combat training. I don't know why, but cough drops is like the thing. Like that's what everybody is on. You can trade them. You Never mind. But listen, cough drops. <laughs> um, listen, the whole thing with being homesick, listen, y'all, like I said before, y'all in the same environment. You away from home. Some people never been away from home. They might have just got out of school. This might be their first time away. Whatever the case, you know, some people have kids, whatever the case may be. Again, be there for one another. You understand what I'm saying? Um, as far as food, Make sure you eat everything that you can. Like every chance you get, eat as much as possible. When you go to that defect, eat all that you can. Like, I mean, don't sit there and be like, ugh, I don't want that. You're not there for the food to taste good. You're just there for the substance to fill your belly. You heard me? Fill your belly up. That's it. Don't sit there and try to pick and dab and because that's not the place for it. You feel me? You just need that food for the energy to re-put that energy back out into your days. So that's my biggest things. And then when it comes to being homesick, just use your motivation in your mind to remember that you joined for a reason and a purpose you know maintain that thought process write letters home and speak to your family but keep that thought process that you joined for a reason and you're going to get to that reason and you best going to achieve greatness you know what i'm saying it's going to be the best feeling when you get to walk, walk, walk across that field the graduation whatever y'all do wherever you go at fort jackson we you know we walked across the field 
it, it was a good feeling. It was an amazing feeling. So if you want that feeling, you got to stick through it, even when you get homesick. But um, that's number four. This is the last one I'm going to, man. It's the last one, number five. I promise. Just stick with, bro, stick with me. Number five, man. You got to watch the video all the way through. Stop trying to just be slick, man. Number five. It's real simple. So look, in the Army, one thing you always want to keep on you, right, is a handy dandy notebook. You heard me. So listen, pay attention every class that they give. Whenever you're going through like training lanes, like different things, like um, lanes that test your knowledge on things such as navigation, um, applying tourniquets, um, knowing your rank, and just, just much more about the Army itself. Um, you want to keep a notebook on you and a writing utensil at all times. Preferably, I use a pen. And you want to be ready to take notes for the simple fact that you know, if you begin studying uh, the rank of whatever branch you plan to join before you join, that's going to put you ahead of your, you know, ahead of your peers. But then you can help that person next to you, right? So basically, when you're getting taught these things, understand that you will, you will, you will be tested. So you want to make sure you have your notes so that on, during your free time, which, you know, you don't get much. But during that free time that you have or the time that they give you to study, you got notes. You can study your notes. So that way you're not sitting there not knowing what's going on and not knowing what's what. And you don't look stupid. You know what I'm saying? You, you, the last thing you want to do is look stupid. So don't be that person, you know what I'm saying, that just think you're cool and not taking notes. But you're going to have to keep a book and a notebook and a pen on you at all times anyway. So that's going to be instilled in your mind. Um, my advice to you, if you join in the Army specifically, is before you even join, before you even leave for basic training, start learning the rank. Um, your recruiter should tell you that. My recruiter did. Um, shout out to my recruiter. Big shout outs to my man. Um, big Sergeant, Staff Sergeant Bostick, man. That is the GOAT. I don't care what nobody else tell you about their recruiter. That man kept it real with me from the start. Like, he didn't tell me no lies. He told me exactly what everything was going to be, and he prepared me for everything that I was going through. And that's why I'm here right now, able to help prepare you for what you about to go through. Um, so, also learn the Army song. That's another big one. And you want to also learn what's called the Soldier's Creed. These are things that you can Google and you can look them up and basically learn them. The Army Song and the Soldier's Creed. There's a certain way you say it. So you can look up YouTube videos on how to sing the song and how to say the Soldier's Creed as well. Um, as far as that goes, let me know in the comments if you, know, if you joined and you're watching this video. Um, after you finish basic combat training, let me know your experience. If these things helped you out, let me know. Um, and if there's something I missed, put it down in the comments. Help somebody else out. That's the whole point of these videos. Uh, besides that, I just want to say good luck to all future soldiers and my future battle buddies. Um, that's really that's really the biggest thing is just do what you came here to do and make 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 everything great. You know, everything that you do, make it great. So look, basically to wrap everything up. Um, I just want to say once again, I appreciate everybody that's watching my videos, showing me love, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. You know, those are all things that I really appreciate. And I hope that my videos can get to the right people and touch the right people. And again, this might be for a person that's thinking about joining. This might be for a person that was already in and they just, you know, want to touch up on something. This might also be for that person who just is interested in the military and like how things work. Whatever the case may be, I'm here for it. Like, let me know. Uh, again, this is this is this is a dream for me to be able to just YouTube and do my own thing. And I've been getting a lot of support from the people around me, a lot of support from outsiders, different things. So, again, if you support me, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the video. And please, the biggest thing, come on now, hit that subscribe button. But not only just the subscribe button, okay? You gotta hit, come here, come here, I'm gonna tell you something. You, you gotta hit, you gotta hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping that fire, when I'm dropping that heat, that heat, man. Stop playing with me, man. Come on, y'all already know the vibes. It's Big BK Vendo. But yeah, I mean, that's it. I love y'all, and uh, yeah, I'm out, man. I'm gonna rock with y'all in the next video. Stay tuned. Let me know what you wanna see, too. Drop that down in the comments. Drop that down in the comments, too. <laughs> All right, fam.